I'm going to show you how to create Solana NFTs, no coding needed. And they are much cheaper to create than Ethereum NFTs. I'm also going to show you where you can sell them. Let's get into the content. Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. The website we're going to use to mint Solana NFTs is solc.io. And when I head over to the website, I'm going to go to the upper right hand corner select connect wallet and i'm going to choose phantom wallet and the first time you ever connect the wallet it will ask you to register with an email before you can do anything else once you do that the first time you're good to go and if you don't have a phantom wallet or you don't know how to set up a solana wallet i will leave a link in the description on a tutorial how to set up this wallet and how to fund it you can check that video after you finish this video so once we're inside of solc.io, we connect our wallet, we registered for that first time, there are two options. We can either create a single NFT or we can create a collection. And within the collection, we can create more NFTs. So let's start off by creating a collection. So the first two things it asks is for a header image and an icon image, and it gives us the ideal format for the image. Now for this video, I'm going to use canva.com to create the art. And I know from my previous video I made over a year ago on creating NFTs, I used Canva, right? And people were saying, you're not a real artist. Real artists don't use Canva. And I agree. I am not an artist. Art is not my specialty. I'm just making this video as an example. And if you really want to make more advanced art, there are tools out there. I will leave a link down below for other digital art softwares in 2021. This was a article published just three days ago with tools such as Photoshop or Affinity Photo, Coral Painter, Clip Studio Paint Pro, and more. So I'm gonna leave that in the description down below. The bottom line here is we just need to end up with a di digital image, right? A JPEG or a PNG. Also, the images that I'm going to use for this video are from Canva's free media license agreement. All free photos, music, and video files on Canva can be used for free for commercial and non-commercial use when it falls under this license agreement, unless, as the website states, it is an image from Pixabay or Pexel, then refer to their license. So for this video, we're going to create a collection and we're gonna call it Express Pugs because also in my previous video, I took a picture of a pug and I called it a bulldog. Wow, people were really upset and I learned my lesson in the comments, right? I now know the difference between a pug and a bulldog. So these are going to be called Express Pugs. So when I head back over to Sol C, ideal format for the header is 1920 by 960. So if I'm back here in Canva, I can resize it, right? So 1920 by 960, resize, right? And I can do this for the banner image, the header image, and also for the icon image. So let's go through an example and let's actually upload a collection. So here is my project, this collection, Express Pugs. Here is the header image. Here is the icon image. When you actually have the image, whether you created it through Canva or another software, you will go to Upload Preview and you'll find it in the folder. You'll upload it. Then the title for this project is called Express Pugs then we're gonna give it a short description, up to 64 characters. If you go more than 64 characters, it will not let you save or mint this project. So these friendly pugs live on the Solana blockchain. Then we can do a more detailed description. These NFTs were created during a YouTube tutorial on how to create Solana NFTs. The utility for these Express Pug NFTs is being cute, that's it. Then if we have a Twitter page, we can link it over here. If we have a Discord, we can link it over here. A Telegram or a website, we can put all our links right over here. And then we can give our collection a symbol. So up to eight characters, I'll call these X pugs. Now, depending on the NFT you're creating, you can give it different collection traits. So I'm going to use three different traits. So type, pug, background, whatever color the background is of the NFT and accessories, whatever they're wearing. So now that we have this all set up, we have a phantom wallet that has money inside of it. Let's go ahead and mint this collection. Once that's complete, here I am, my collection. So let's go ahead and create some NFT. So I'm going to select NFT 
and we are going to upload a file. Again, these are files that I made in Canva. You can make them anywhere else that you think is better, right? You need a JPEG, PNG, or a GIF if it's a GIF. Max file size is 10 megabytes. So let's go ahead and upload an NFT. So here is our NFT image. We scroll down, we'll give it a title. I'll call this one Express Pug One. We will give it a short description and a longer description. I'm going to use the same descriptions that I used in the collections. Scroll down and a seller fee. This is a royalty fee. For every time the NFT resells, the original creator can receive a royalty. And this is as long as it is on a platform that enables this, right? So if it's resold on SoulSea, you can get a royalty. So I'll set it to 2%. And then if I have a website or a social media page that I want people to go to, maybe to learn more about this NFT, I can link it here in external URL. And then for tags, this will be up to whatever the NFT is you are creating. For this one, we'll keep it as art. And you know you can add these other ones as well if it applies to your NFT. And then for license, this one is important, right? This is how people will be able to reuse your NFTs. They did leave a license guide here going through the four different types of license. If you are creating an NFT and you want it to become popular, you probably do not want to use the first two, private use or personal public display only. Whatever you do though, that is totally your choice, right? This is not legal advice, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to select public display, non-commercial exploitation. This will be part of the Express Pugs collection. And then for traits, it is a pug, the background color here is orange, and this one has glasses. So I'm going to mint this NFT. When complete, I'll receive this message. Congratulations, your NFT has been minted successfully. And here it is. I can take a look at my NFT and all of the traits and the characteristics. So now let's go ahead and actually sell this NFT. So after the NFTs are minted, if I head over to my collections, I'll see that it is empty because we need to now list these NFTs. So if I head over to wallet and then to NFTs in my wallet, I can now go ahead and list them for sale. So let's take Express Pug One and we are going to list this NFT. We'll set the price at two Solana, list NFT, approve transaction. Now, if I go to my collections and we click on Express Pugs, here it is. This Solana NFT is listed for sale. I have four other of these NFTs that I created and I want to give them away to you guys. Not only do I want to give you the NFTs, but whoever I give the NFT to will also receive $50 worth of Solana with it. So I'm going to give away four of these NFTs along with $50 of Solana, two on Twitter and two on Instagram. I will leave a link for my Twitter and my Instagram. Go ahead, check them out. Check the recent post for a chance to win NFT along with Solana. Another place you can sell your Solana NFTs is digitaleyes.market. And by the way, if I go to my phantom wallet and you go down here to the bottom icon, you can see your NFT. So when I'm ready to send this NFTs, I'll simply click on the NFT, hit send, and I will send it to whoever wins the competition. So here we are on digital eyes. And if we want to sell over here, we will connect our wallet. And then if we go to sell, it will show us our NFT. So I can also list it here for sale as well. You will notice that it says this is an unverified NFT. If it appears to be part of a verified collection, note that it is not. So something very important to note is that in this video, we spoke about how to create Solana NFTs and where to sell them. But it doesn't mean that you will sell it, right? You usually have to build up some sort of audience or reputation before you sell NFTs, even if you are a talented artist. So you know how to do this, but practically speaking, you will need to do more to build up your audience. So I have a video on how to build up an audience in this modern world of social media. It has never been easier, right? 20 years ago, if you had something to show the world, it was very hard to get it out to the public. But today with the power of Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and YouTube, you can actually make a name for yourself in a relatively short period. So go ahead and watch this video on how to sell your NFTR, even if you are not famous yet. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.